TCP builds reliable connections on top of the IP layer. And TCP introduces a couple of new features that are useful for many connections on the internet. Those include reliability, congestion control, the ability for multiple clients to share the network effectively and establish a speed that's sustainable and doesn't ruin the internet for everybody else. And also this uh, additional concept of naming through port numbers, port numbers that identify both ends of each TCP connection and allow um, different services to run on the same machine and allow the same client to make multiple connections to the same server. Now, there's an additional part of the, well, sort of widely deployed transport layer that's known as UDP. So, we sometimes think of the IP layer down here and TCP running up here, but there's this extra protocol that's been deployed at the transport layer that's called UDP, or the Universal Datagram Protocol. Now, what is UDP? So, the easiest way to explain UDP is to start with a reminder of what TCP does, and then cross stuff off the list. So, in comparison with TCP, UDP provides no reliability, um, no congestion control. It does retain this useful naming feature that allows um, a client and a server to sort of identify the endpoints of, of their transmissions. But on some level, UDP is just a very, very thin wrapper on the underlying IP layer itself. So the IP layer, remember, provides naming in the form of IP addresses. UDP adds naming in the form of ports, which is quite useful. But it doesn't try to provide any of these extra services that the TCP stack does. And so UDP is a much, much simpler protocol. All it does is take the data, attach a port number to it, send it out across the IP layer. If it arrives, Great. If it doesn't arrive, who cares? We're not going to do anything about it. Um, if it arrives in a different order, who cares? We're not going to do anything about it. Uh, if I'm sending data too fast for other clients, again, who cares? Not going to do anything about it. So UDP is, you know, on some level, a really thin wrapper on top of IP, and that makes UDP useful in certain cases because it's possible to experiment with new transport protocols that are built on top of UDP. And there are certain use cases in which UDP is actually sometimes more appropriate than TCP for certain types of connections. So this is the other part of the transport layer. We have TCP UDP on top of IP, no reliability, no congestion control, no guarantees about ordering, pretty much just the IP layer with an extra little bit of naming in the form of port numbers.